Do we we don't need to specify the order when we take it out of order? Yeah, yeah. No, just take it yeah. out of order. Okay. All right. Because then you can continuously take things out of order. All right. Good. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the April fifth, twenty twenty one, uh, Brookfield uh, Select Board meeting. Uh, all rise for the state the pledge. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, thank you for that. Okay, um, could I get a motion to take everything out of order? Sure, I'll make that motion that we take everything out of order tonight. I'll, I'll second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 So I, I think what we would like to do is start actually with the recognition portion of the program. Yes. Is that yes. correct? Yeah. Yes. So uh, I want to talk a little bit about this. So uh, one of the benefits of bringing on board a town administrator has been that some of the things that tended to fall through the cracks uh, horribly uh, over time was that we, we've done a poor job of celebrating uh, people's service to the town. We make the announcement kind of almost like a rope from a standpoint of, hey, we've got these anniversaries. I appreciate the fact that at least Fire and EMS has been very good at providing that information to us historically. Um, but uh, I really wanted to take a few minutes to, to open up and, and talk uh, a little bit about the fact that uh, we, we do have somebody with us today who has had a, a truly substantive service to the town. Um, we're, we're actually here tonight to, to recognize Don and LaFleur for 45 years. So, that's just amazing. Um, it's, uh, uh, it, it really means a lot. It really shows a level of dedication and commitment to the community just to, as an individual and, and you know, to the, the folks who need the service the most really in our town, fundamentally. So. Um, Pull out the formal portion of the program. Mm -hmm. did, did, is this in? Yeah, it's in your packet. Yeah, yeah. a little bit of background. So just a little so, background. Yep. So um, just to just to talk a little bit about the about what that that 45 years has represented. So you've been an EMT since 1976, uh, and the head of EMS since uh, 1987. Uh, paramedic, uh, which is that, that higher level of service uh, since 1994, and you were actually our first certified paramedic in town, correct? So um, you played a huge role and started the insurance billing for ambulance transports uh, and uh, worked with the EMS region to establish the appropriate ambulance staffing guidelines. And this has allowed our ambulances to operate at a paramedic level with a paramedic and a basic EMT, um, which is really important. We were talking prior to the meeting about how with a small towns, it's really, really hard uh, to staff everything, whether it's a volunteer or a paid physician and being able to ensure that those type of guidelines were established so that we could provide that level of service is, is, is huge. Um, this was something that had not been done before in Massachusetts, uh, and we were one of the first four communities in the state to be licensed like that. You spent 13 years also as a police officer for the town, uh, a firefighter since 1992 and our first female firefighter, uh, and then dispatcher at the former municipal run regional dispatch center. Uh, and this one is, is um, you know, Donna, honestly, the one thing that was clear very early on um, as people get involved in the, with the town of Brookfield is that in, so, in some ways you're really the heart uh, of, of what we try to do. And I think that as the being the Brookfield coordinator for Toys for Joy really indicates that, that, that core of caring that, that really represents the service that you've provided to not just the town, but the region over the years, because that really touches um, very close to home for a lot of families. So, um, 
Yeah, and, and we, and, well, anything we could say here is probably not sufficient, but thank you. Thank you. Um, I didn't know, did, did you have any, any other specific comments that you'd care for? So let's, let's do this. Let's bring you up. And did you all? Thank you for supporting her all these years and yes. what she's done. It's, uh, <clears throat> what's, I'm sorry. She didn't have much choice. You didn't have much choice. <laughs> <laughs> Outstanding. But, it's but you did support her, so that's great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, did, did, did anyone have a preference for what we should... Um, speak to you next. Well, we have two gentlemen in the audience who um, would probably appreciate being bumped up on this. Okay, and they are the currently six. number six? Yeah, number six. Yeah. So let's, let's hop right? to sign contract for Central Central Street and Water. Is there a contract? No, it's not a contract. You have the contract. I have, I have two originals. Um, Dennis, if you'd like to come up and Dress, you know, the, the big process and who doctors and so on and so forth. Just move a little closer. Oh, so what, I can, what I can also do is, do you want me to read the abutter uh, announcement? Yes, please read the abutter announcement okay. as well. We'll just send out all of so, them. So we'll, we'll actually kick this off with one of the two announcements, which is the Central Street mm -hmm. Water Main Upgrade. Um, so this letter was sent out to all the abutters, which, uh, and it reads, Central Street will be getting a complete makeover in 2022, almost entirely grant funded. The project will include, will begin with water main work in the spring, followed by sidewalk improvements, drainage, and roadway paving throughout the summer and fall. We'll be using ARPA grant funding to replace the water main on Central Street. The water project will begin mid-April of 2022 and scheduled to be completed by the end of June 2022. 
The water project will include replacing the water fire, I'm sorry, the water main, fire hydrants, and water services from the water main to roughly the property line of each household. We will be begin upgrading the 12 inch cast iron water main from the Route 9 intersection to Pleasant Street with 12 inch ductile, ductile iron main, the 6 inch cast iron water main from Pleasant Street to Common Street will be upgraded to an 8 inch ductile iron main. There will be a minor water there will be minor water interruptions for short periods throughout this project, some planned, some unplanned. We will work with everybody to keep cars, buses and pedestrians moving safely as well. And this was mailed on 3/30/2022 and I can tell you it did show up in my mailbox. So thank you. Yeah. So I, I just wanted the people of Central Street to know that Something's going on. Yeah. We're going to yeah. start this thing. We're going to do all these new. Yeah. To, to keep everything minimize. Going. Yeah. yeah. Min minimize the, the disruption, but yeah. understand not it's not possible. We're not going to do it without water. Right. Yeah. Maybe from time to time, but that should be perfect. So. Okay. Great. I, I heard it. Yeah, I heard it mentioned at the elementary school this morning too. Oh, perfect. In the office. We have a separate. Yeah, I just heard them say that yeah. that there's a project going on on Central yeah. Street. Yeah. So we have some more, they got the notice too. Yeah, we have some more coordinating with buses and the schools. It's only we can't the schools. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, so can you did. can you sit so up we, here? We uh, we we put this project out to bid as we had planned. Uh, Richardi Brothers. Uh, out of Worcester there, the low bidder, mm -hmm. Lennard Engineering gave a recommendation for us to go with Richardi Brothers. They checked the references and projects and, and there's no and reason bonding. there's no reason to exclude them fundamentally. So they came in the lowest bidder and they've done good work. Everything checked out yeah. with them. The timeline Absolutely. we have a tight deadline June thirtieth to finish this project. They can meet the deadline. So they're they're in. It's Makes good. perfect sense. Yeah, actually excited to have them with, with a tight deadline. So. Okay, so they have a reputation for actually hitting their targets? Well, that's yet to be seen. I don't <laughs> know good or bad. It's just getting materials we right have, now. Pipe is in the like past, everything we else. We have used Lennard. Lennard, well, no, we've, used, Lennard. we've used Lennard. It's so recurring. Lennard did our engineering. Oh, oh he did that, yes, because mm -hmm. we have used them in the past. Yep. And Rajardi Brothers is going to do the contracting. Oh, okay. Getting materials right now, like everything else, getting pipe is. Um, backed up so they are fortunate enough to have some pipe on hand and nice. they can move it around oh, to get it cool. here sooner nice yeah mm -hmm. very good yeah. and just just so people understand uh, what long-term advantages disadvantages of going from cast to ductile iron um, it's the material of today okay so cast in the early 1900s was phenomenal pipe mm -hmm. It's actually fantastic pipe. It is unlined. Um, the lining inside the, the pipe uh, helps with water quality. Yeah. Um, but at some point we have a hundred year old water pipe and it's not gonna last forever. So we yeah. have funding and it's time. Yep. Yeah. Understood. Yep. Okay, great. And uh, just so everybody is aware, the, the full um, cost of the contract for the water portion is $523,512.50. Um, so can I get a motion uh, for us to um, sign off on this contract? I will make a motion uh, to sign off on the contract for the Central Street Water Main upgrade. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Now is it? Just the chair. Just the chair? Okay. Perfect, thank you. The account signed you. off on yeah. the funding today, if the funding's available. Nice. Okay, two original copies. Mm -hmm. One Great. goes back to the um, contractor. Oh, oh. Did you sign this one? I did. Okay. There we go. Great. Yeah. Anything Thank you. else that we want to share with everybody? That's all I got. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. So uh, the other announcement we had, unfortunately, we lost the uh, um, uh, fire chief. Is that? Uh, congratulations. I am pleased to inform you that the Brookfield Fire Department has been selected to receive an automated external defibrillator 
equipment award for $2,500 from the Office of Grants and Research. Uh, and the comptroller has determined that uh, it will not require a Commonwealth standard contract to be executed, so we will get that uh, those funds fairly directly. Uh, and that's based off of a quote that was submitted on the application. So that will allow us to get a, a newer AED. Do you know if his plan is for that to go on the ambulance or if that's a, for a different purpose? I, I'm not sure where it's actually going, but the morning the email came in, I saw Peter and said, did you, and he was on the phone, and he hung up the phone, and I said, did you see that we got the grant? He goes, just finished ordering the defibrillator. <laughs> <laughs> so like, that's extremely efficient. Well, sir, well done. Sir. Right, because I remember a while back we purchased, either we purchased or got a grant to purchase a number of them for both the ambulance and the um, some of the police. The vehicles. police are the ones who have them. The fire department is the one that needed them. So that's ah, why the fire okay. department got them. Yeah. We applied for the grant. Okay, great. Do we have one in here? Not that one. No. no. I just mean, I thought of that we myself. Should. Makes you wonder if we should have we one. We should. Do you see how much the grant was for? Yes. I know. Maybe next year. No, I know. We'll but we'll see next as, year a, as a future thing. Yeah. 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 And then the batteries are several hundred dollars. Yes, they are. They need to be re put in. Yeah. Every, yeah. Yeah, be replaced, every recharged. Yeah, I think it's every 48 months or something yeah. like that. Yeah, I thought it was two or three years. Someone has to be trained on it, I believe. Yes. Yeah. I yeah, was, those, but. Yeah, although the training on it consists of about a 45 minute class that says, look at the picture, stick the mm -hmm. electrodes where it says, make sure you're clear, hit the button. Yeah. Yeah. So, don't touch the person. Don't touch, don't the, touch the person. person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, we're going to bring up Ryan. Uh, sure. Ryan so, yes. Ryan, are you, you're here for the relocation of the uh, poll discussion? Okay, so you are next then. Great. So, this was provided to us a couple weeks back, actually, inclusive of the. Uh, the illustration. Yep. Um, and can you walk us through what's in front of us, basically? Yeah. So, so pretty much, they have to move a pole right by the church where the steps are, and that's going to be for the shared use path to allow room, so they don't have to rework the slope and the steps. Um, <clears throat> I want to move the pole ahead of time, or I want to give National Grid the go ahead to move the pole now, and hopefully they get it done by our deadline. I don't want to give them any time to, you know, say, well, we'll come when the shared use, use path is done, right. because the pole, the existing mm -hmm. pole will be in the way, so right. I want to get it done sooner than later. Okay, and have you already talked to the folks over at the church, and are they on board with it? Well, it doesn't actually interfere with them. The pole's moving into the street. Right, but it does interfere with like the parking, and et cetera, in that space. It could, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, um, it's gonna take up the space of like one car, basically. Okay. Yeah, just as a courtesy, if we could. I can touch base with them. Yeah, yeah if you would, just, yep. just touch base with, with Clarence or somebody else over there. Yep. Make sure they're at least aware. Okay. That'd be great. So where's it going after? Or is it so staying? the, the, everything's gonna shift. Mm -hmm. So it'll be in the road now, but when the project's done, it'll be on the edge of the sidewalk. Okay. So it, it will no longer be in the road once the project's complete. So my recommendation would be to let them move it, and we, we just make it safe, put jersey barriers there with some cones and stuff, and, um, and then as the project goes on, it won't be a problem. So um, National Grid reached out and requested a poll hearing, which we're attempting to schedule for the 19th of April, so your next meeting. Right. Yep. There'll be a poll. Okay, okay great. Um, we just sent you, I know that you're busy, we sent an email earlier today asking if that was an okay date, but now that we're all here. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. that's a so that's, 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 <laughs> that's fine for me. That's is, is that a date that you can be here? That's the next meeting. Yes. It's yeah. the next this meeting. Is currently the yeah. next scheduled yeah. meeting. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be here. Okay. Yeah, yeah so that works. So, so, pen, so pending the poll hearing, we let them proceed. Yeah, and just ask them to proceed post haste. Yeah. Because I know it took us years to get them to replace the one on the corner. 
that was that's a, what I'm afraid of. That's why we're starting now because I don't want to. <laughs> I mean, put, literally years. <laughs> no, it, it, everything takes a long time, so the pole may never get moved until the project's halfway through. But, we, it, we but don't it won't know. be. It won't be for lack of trying, though. Right. And for trying to get the authorization in place, so right. that's yeah. Um, that's it's legitimate to at least try and do that. So, yep. did you need anything else from us other than okaying to put it on the agenda for the 19th of the poll hearing? I think that's all we need. I, as long as it's okay for me just to give them the, an email saying, yeah, go ahead and yes. you know, put the poll in when, when you can. Yes. After the, the hearing. So do we need to vote on that or is that? No. No, no because no, really no, I, I think just, I think that it's just good sense. Discussion is record of, of, you know, yeah, and, and, and nobody has any, any concerns about it. So. There's no it, concern or dissenting. So. It has to be moved. Yeah. yeah, it's got it's got to get moved. It's just a case it's of a, it's just a case of trying to get national grid to yeah. to move a little bit quicker. Yeah, with no reason to not show up. Yeah, <laughs> can't give it an excuse. Got yeah. it. Do you want to discuss the rollover time now while Ryan is still here? Oh, very good idea. So we have on oh. the agenda a vacation rollover request. Um, it was item number five, which was Donald. Her, um, 160 hours and Mike D 80 hours. Do you remember what they had? Do we have documentation for what they had at the beginning of the year? Because we set some very explicit goals for them to burn down a certain amount of their vacation. Did they meet the targets? Um, yes and no. When you say yes and no, explain. So I would say that maybe they didn't meet the targets, but we're short staff this year. Donald was out for a number of months, um, two months with a knee replacement and then weather started. And so we're, we're struggling to find the time for people to take, take a sufficient amount of time off to meet those goals actually. Okay. They got a lot of, they have a lot of time to use. They do. Yeah. So, all right. So the short answer is actually no. Yes, yeah, so I guess that would did, be. Did they burn any of it? Oh yeah, they used their time. They're well, I know they used this year's enough. time. They just didn't use what they had carried yeah. over from the prior year. Yeah. Yeah. So it is so one of the things is it possible? Can you spare one of them one day a week so they can burn it down? Yeah, and I yeah, and I I do encourage that. Um, so if the board were to say they need to use X number of days before the end of the year and they can roll over the difference, would you be able to function? Oh yeah, if, if they have to use some time up, I mean, this is the time of year right now is the best time to be, for them to be using their time. And they know that um, pending the outcome of this, we'll, you know, that'll determine what they are gonna do, so. I had a question to ask also. Yeah, do we have the minutes of what, what we had given them for guidance for how much to burn down? No, not in front of me, but I did no. talk to Don, and Don did tell me that he did use a week already, and he thought that that's what you wanted him to use, and he I didn't specify that if it was last year or this year, but he said he did follow what you asked him to do. So I assume It's possible, because I think it was close to 200 hours that he had, yeah. so 160 yeah. is what we had set for him as a target. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That sounds familiar. So if we ask them to, you know, use another, what have we got? I, I don't know what you want to do. I'm just spitballing. If you ask them to use one day a week until the end of the year and then roll over the difference, or use up another week and then roll over the difference, or just roll it all over, whatever you decide yeah. to do. But but it, it might not be, you know, it's... So... Here's my thought on it, is that, hmm. Can I, want to, can I ask him a question? Yeah, sure. Do you have money left in your seasonal employee account that you could get one of those, one of them to come in and help out? Yep. So there wouldn't be a problem if well, like they wanted to take off a whole week. Sometimes the seasonal help doesn't have a CDL, so that, the, you oh, know, so okay. it doesn't always fix my All problem, right. you know. Sometimes right. it does, but not always, oh, okay. depending on what we going on, what we have going on. So, you know, like right now, sweeping's about to start. You know, that's Donald usually. Yeah. Right. So, it's like it's one thing after another. This, the seasonality changes we got, and and we always got something going on. So it is a little bit of a struggle to find the time, and I look at it as it's their time, and I don't tell them how to use it. I just tell them 
use your dime. <laughs> right. So, so here's my thought: is 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 we say yes with the understanding that Donald can't have more than 120 hours at the end of next year, but if he wants to start using some of that, he he has the option to burn it before the rollover or after. Does that make some sense? I think so. Yeah. Okay. So he needs to target when we're having this discussion next year, having no more than 120 hours to roll over. And likewise with, with Mike, I think we had, I think he started with 100 and got down I to the I think he's eight. down to, well, he's, rolled, he's asked to roll over at 80, so. Yeah, I think he started though the year at a, did he have 100 or did he Probably. have uh, I don't, I don't actually know. I don't know the numbers. Yeah. Um, but he needs to understand that that next year again we probably wouldn't do more than I'm thinking probably what 60 in terms of a burn down or or does he need to target closer to to, to 50 so how many does he get when the year starts over five weeks of vacation he gets five weeks of vacation both of them plus no just all Donald. Donald. Mike is at three. Okay, so he gets five weeks plus the four weeks he's asking for. Yeah. It's almost. Yeah. Well, plus, it, plus he's got sick time that he accrues monthly, and that comes yeah, out. Yeah, sick time is in, is in, that's in case you're sick. Over. He can yeah. Yeah. You know, use that as for sick time. That's yeah. okay. not something you're required to burn yeah. down. No, right, right. Yeah. But vacation time, um, Having nine weeks of vacation is a lot of vacation. So using it up is, is probably a prudent um, yeah. choice. So 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 I think I think what I would say is that we're okay I mean my proposal would be that that we say yes, but that he understands yeah. that by the time we're having this conversation next year, he needs to be down to hundred and twenty. Yeah. So he has okay. to take all of his vacation plus a week. Okay. For next year just like we did last year okay um, and what's he at right now 160 he's asking for he's asking yeah. to roll over 160 yeah. so he needs to be down to 140 40 less so basically he needs to take his five weeks plus a Six week weeks of next okay. year <laughs> right. and, and it can be and he can take it before the end of this year or or any time in this next year but then he needs to think of it from the perspective of the burn down yeah yeah so we're not telling him when and how to use it, but just that he needs to use that much. Yeah, of just it. by this time next year, he has to take six weeks. Yeah. Basically, yeah. yeah. Or by by July first of next year, he needs to take yeah. six weeks. So, um, does that sound yeah. good to you? Here yeah, is I it. Think that sounds good. Is it like here in town? Is the vacation that if it's booked, it counts, or do you have to actually take it for it to count? Yeah. I'm unfamiliar with that expression. If it's booked, it's so booked. like if if I if I scheduled vacation, you can go, no, don't have any. But if I schedule a vacation for <laughs> August, right. uh, a week, would yeah. that count towards this year's quota or next year's? Next, next year. Okay, okay, so it's when you'd actually take it's it. When it's you when you not just wait. Yes, okay. yeah. yes. And yeah. things happen. I've taken eight weeks of vacation that haven't actually happened. Yep. So <laughs> so it's yeah. not it. it you can't count if it's booked. Yeah. So I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. But yeah. No, I, I, the way mine is for where I am, so it's, for people watching it starts home, when you booked. I didn't actually take any vacation, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So, um, yeah. but I, I think that's where I'm at is, is, again, I'm okay with the rollover, but we have to get out of the accrual yeah. phase of this rollover and okay. focus on a, a a conscious burn down without actually taking anything away. Okay. Right. And I think it would be a good idea to set a policy. I know that the policy is that they can't roll it over without permission, but to not exceed a certain amount yeah, of the rollover yes. going forward. I, I think it's a good point. Once people they have, don't take anything away no. from anybody. No. Right. But once they've used up what they have, mm -hmm. that, yeah. you know, going forward, you can only roll over one week or two weeks yeah. or something. Yeah. something yeah. Or, some, or some percentage of what they have. Much yeah. More yeah. 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 I think that's pretty common. Yeah, that you just can't. Yeah. Well, and, and I, I'm going to tell you, in, in my job, in my current employer, you can't roll it over. Yep, yeah. that's fine too. You, you use it or you lose yeah. it, and that's and, the but way they're I think it's how it's, it's most not in the, the, the public sector. Right. One to two weeks, but mm -hmm. right. not typically more. Right, not, not this yeah. kind of perpetual. On a, on a positive note here with this, um, 
other towns have guy have a bigger crew and people can use it in the winter. Well, this is a perfect reason why we, why we need yeah, a larger crew. We, we, we don't, I can't afford for people to take vacation in the winter. No, it, right. it would be detrimental. So that's the plus is no one asks, you know, and that's why we get to this time of year and we have. Right, right. And, and that's one of the reasons why I don't want to make this punitive, yeah. if that makes any sense. Yeah. It's not his fault. It's no, because he's no. been a good guy and done what hey. the town needed. And yep. that's why I don't want it us to be like, like, yeah, but at the same time, we have to be rational about not yeah, letting it I continue understand. to accrue. So, it's yet another bullet point of why you need to expand the highway department. Yes, yes. there you go. Absolutely. So, um, yeah. so we get it. Yep. Yeah. Um, anything else about this? So we, we probably do. We want to vote that. that yeah, we should um, definitely vote that. So and can and I get? What it? are you doing with the other yeah. gentleman? You only so, discussed one. Right. So I think with. Mike, what we want to do is something similar. So, um, I think it's still fair to, ha even though he has less, to ask him to burn down an extra week next year. All right. Do you agree? Or, so or that, actually, so do we want to have that talk of a, a slight talk about that broader? What do you think that we would land on for a max in terms of rollover in the future? Is it two weeks? I would say two. Week? Okay. So I mean, technically, he's only at two topic. weeks, yeah. Yeah. right? So, so if we're gonna say Max is two weeks, he's technically okay where he's at. Mm -hmm. So, um, can we have for the next meeting? Let's see if we can draft up the policy associated with that. Mm -hmm. um, with the, do you agree that two weeks is good? Oh yeah, I, I agree too. We shouldn't because uh, this happens in all, some of your other departments too. Yeah. With mm -hmm. this rule over, like I, like you had said. In, <clears throat> Excuse me. In the public sector, you know, you're not able to roll roll over time. Yeah. Yep. And I mean, I I, I don't think that you know they. Should, I think um, two weeks is plenty for them to roll over. I think it's reasonable because yeah, like I most people is. average about. Yep. You know, it, I think we most people start with two weeks yep. and then it goes up to three fairly yep. quickly and then it, you know, obviously Donald's in a position where he gets mm -hmm. five, and so two weeks is still yeah. fifty percent of what he gets and yep. it's all of some people's. That's so. all I got. <laughs> so, okay. Um, so, could we get a motion to, to have um, to okay the rollovers with a, a requirement for Donald to be down to 120 hours by the end of next year, and then um, that that Mike is at the threshold, so he's okay to just roll the 80 hours. Oh, okay. All right. I'd like to make a motion that um, Donald roll his down to at least 120. Is that what we said? By the end of next year. By the by the end of this this year, end of next year, next year, yeah. and for Mike, basically to you know do the same thing, you know, with eighty hours. A second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. I'm well, sorry that took so long, but That's it right. was a good discussion, and at least we've got a, a guideline for how we can be consistent across the yeah. town. So thanks okay. for thanks for taking the time with us. All right. <coughs> Anything Thank else you. while we got you? No, that's oh. it. Awesome. Alrighty. Thank you. All right. I'll see ya. Dennis, you that big old packet last. Next. <laughs> What's the big old packet? Oh. Hey. Hi. Did I sign something in the wrong place? Question. No, you didn't sign the wrong place. Um, we have these slots for witnesses on here. Do we need to? Oh, they have to be made our witness best. Thank you. <laughs> And it's just that's that needs the witness. Like, you know. um, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'll witness that. Oh, this one is why this is ours. Good eyes, good eyes. Very good. You know, I saw that and I just assumed that y'all were going to sign it after. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we saw you sign it. It's not like it's a. <laughs> okay. Um, well, back would, up. would you want, yeah, I was going to yeah, say, okay. you want to go ahead and do the uh, reports on the warrants? Okay. Side? I'd like to do the reports on the warrants that I've signed. Uh, every, I looked them all over and everything was fine with no questions asked. And I'd like to have a, an expense warrant for three twenty-two twenty-two for $147,000 and $541.10. Um, a payroll warrant for 
323.22 for $177,628.89, a withholding warrant for 323.22 for $60,000 and $611.59. And then we also have an expense warrant for 4522 for $159,739.36. Payroll warrant for four six twenty two for one hundred eighty four thousand seven hundred and sixty one dollars and five cents, and a withholding warrant for four six twenty two for thirty thousand three hundred thirty eight dollars and fifty eight cents. Thank you for that. Okay. All right. So the next next is what was first, which was. Um, the cable advisory contract coming up. So um, our contract with Charter will expire 4-30-2025. Um, and the process has to start 36 to 30 months before the license mm -hmm. expires. Yeah. OK. Um, we, we may want to form a cable advisory committee as part of the formal renewal process and delegate it certain duties, because otherwise, that falls on us as the Board of Selectmen, correct? Yes. So um, if we form a CFC, we've got to provide the Department of Telecommunications with the name and contact information for at least one CAC member. Um, and then they've enclosed a fact sheet regarding what their responsibilities are. Um, and then the department has also prepared a practical guide to table television license renewal. Uh, which is available at their website. So um, that is coming up, and all of that information is in the packet, and actually a copy of the practical guide was included. Mm -hmm. um, and let's see here. We've got a copy of the prior contract. So, um, yeah, it is. Um, so it sounds like we need, historically speaking, we have formed a committee. I know that we've run into some issues in the past where with, with regards to getting and sustaining membership on it. Um, did you have a recommendation, Kelly? So what I would suggest is that you form a cable committee of no more than five people. Okay. Um, because they can work in groups and not violate open meeting and quorum issues they can take different tasks and go off and do their tasks mm -hmm. and come back yeah. and forth to the group. Okay. So five is a, is a sustainable number. It's also not so big that you can't fill it and five make a form and everybody mm -hmm. has to be there all the time. Yeah. Okay. So see if we can find people who are willing to assist in regenerating a cable contract and set a time limit, limit on how long you're going to look because this can't wait. These contracts right. are difficult. Mm -hmm. The last one mm -hmm. I did took four years yeah. to complete. It was started a year and a half before I got there, and it was finished probably, it was finished two and a half years in mm -hmm. um, from when I arrived, and that is, was, there was many, many reasons why it took that long. Some was on part of the town, some was on part of the cable company, um, some was on councils for both sides. So it's something that needs to be begun immediately. So, so, so let me ask you something. Um, it says that we may want to form a, a, a CAC, and I agree that there's a lot of tasks and we do need to split up the labor. But mm -hmm. in the meantime, would it make sense for us to talk hypothetically about whether or not you would be a member as like an ex officio member and give you as the point of contact so we can at least kick off the process? That's fine with me if that's what you'd like to do. Um, I, I, don't I don't want the whole time burden. to devote to it till after town meeting, but. Mm -hmm. I, I totally understand that, but it's, I, I almost feel like it's better to at least set up a point of communication that's why earlier I think rather we than later. put a limit on how long you're gonna look for a committee and if they, we can't put one together, then the four of us just need to take do it, it on and I'll be the point person yeah. and okay. do the legwork for so it. That was actually kind of my default thought was while we're looking, what if we started? Yeah. 
but then could we hand off anything? Because we like there's always a possibility that the committee will go in a completely different direction. That's true. Yeah. So I, I, the work yeah. that we do now could be um, duplicative, could be, yeah, or right. it could be it could be just spinning our wheels. Yeah, yeah. I, so, I hate to ask it though. Is how I mean I know that there's some flexibility with regards to the contract, but I know that there's there's very, very little. little flexibility. Yeah. So yeah. so it was, it was I, brutal negotiating the last one, and, and um, the cable company representative that I worked with. Is the same one that we have for yeah. Brookfield. It's the same person that we'll be negotiating the contract with and working with. And um, it's very he's he's got way too much territory, and so he doesn't. Um, he's not difficult to work with. It's just he's stretched paper thin. Mm -hmm. Right. So Damn. getting stuff started is is yeah. Is good. I don't think it's really. But there really isn't a lot. I don't of room. think there's a lot of. Room. I don't think there's a lot of room for us to no, be 180 because, de degrees away from no. where the, what the, they the can committee would wind up. What we have no control over the content. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have no control over yeah. pricing. Yeah. We have no control over build out. We have a little bit of build out. We can ask them to extend it to other areas. Mm -hmm. um, the only teeth that the town really has is if they don't negotiate in, in good faith is we can send them a letter and say you have 30 days to get all your equipment out of Brookfield, which is what I did in one town. Wow. And that was the only thing that brought them to the table. Mm. Okay. Because I was perfectly willing to follow through on it. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> the whole town's cable will be shut up. I understand. But that will be a lot of money that they don't want to do. So. Right. So there's not a lot of, of negotiating that can be done. They're, they're lowering what they're willing to provide as far as funding because it's based on users. And with Netflix and Amazon mm -hmm. and yeah. all of the other internet, free, service. internet services, they're losing customer yes. base. So they're hesitant to continue to provide the funding that they have in the past. Right. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if... Within the next five years or it's so, gonna be gone. most of it's gone. Oh, yeah. it's gonna be gone. Yeah. They're going to be internet providers and not cable yeah. providers, fundamentally. Well, that's essentially kind of what yeah. they are now, anyway. Yeah. Is internet provider. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, if you have if you have your internet through Verizon and not through the cable company, that's a customer that they don't have that doesn't need cable. So well, so again, well, yeah, like but, Vera just but Verizon, have cable. Verizon has very little coverage in Well yeah, that was just an example. There's no one else out here. Uh, it's just charter, right? Yeah. yeah. Well there's on the other side of the river I think some people can get FIAS. Some of the folks oh, I, that, think it I think there's a, I think there's a couple of people on the very edges of town that, that are on Maybe trunks more for FIAS. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But you know like like Adam said, they're becoming internet providers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So user fees are, mm. are different. So then yep. our take is different. Right. Yeah, I don't I don't so. I don't have cable. Like yeah, I haven't TV. had cable for my daughter's twenty nine now. For yeah. twenty nine years. I haven't had television. So yeah. Yeah. I haven't either. So um so I think what I'd like to do is let's let's give ourselves thirty days to find a committee. Okay. Um but in the interim, let's at least make the initial contact and get the initial information mm -hmm. from them. And, and like you said, I could be an ex officio member and of the point committee. of contact to disseminate information. Right. From forth to make sure that it's done. Mm. From experience, what's the probability of filling said committee? Considering all it of our. It varies letters. from town to town, and I don't have enough of Brookfield's history, um, personal knowledge okay. um, that I can answer that question. We're also going to have to be willing to say no to certain people who will probably want to be part of the contract mm -hmm. negotiations. Okay. So, so we're going to have to be ready the to... The cable committee does not negotiate. The cable committee puts together what it wants, it feels the town would like to have. Okay. Mm -hmm. Once they've put that package together, their job is complete. Okay. The negotiation then is taken over by you, myself, and town council. Okay. It is no longer the yep. committee's job is to say this is what the people want. This is what we yeah. think would be a good contract. And once that's done, that's it. They don't get involved with the actual cable company. Got it. 
other than information seeking. Okay. The negotiation is all done between the attorneys, which is worth every penny. Penny. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's worth every penny. Um, there are attorneys that only do, do mm -hmm. people contracts. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's, it's worth it's worth the do we have anything I, I hate to put it as very fundamentally educational materials about what we even can ask for or go no, after but I can I can reach out and, That'd be great. and see if I can find something yeah let's let's see what because I mean there are probably people who are willing to serve but who if they aren't familiar with with what the content is mm -hmm. I think asking somebody to serve on that without being able to provide some baseline information mm -hmm. about about what our options are and, and what we're making decisions about. It's, uh, and, and what their specific role would be. Yeah, and I think there's some specific guidelines actually for that committee about the holding of public hearings and mm -hmm. dissemination of information. And I think there's actually a bunch of, of um, state mandated guidelines about what the CAC does and does mm -hmm. and can do I and think has that's to in do. Your pocket. Yeah, yeah. We've had that yeah. yeah. I've read over that earlier. I think it's so, yes, smaller. it is available, and mm -hmm. you have it at your fingertips. And we have it in our fingertips, <laughs> so. At least some of it, anyway. Yep. Yep, um, yep. here it is. So we the have, um, I had a cable committee that yeah. didn't want the town to sign the contract unless the cable company put a drop-off point for cable equipment in their town. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> because oh. the nearest one was in Springfield, and it was 60 miles away from the town that it was serving. I think yeah. ours is either... Is it Auburn? Um, Spectrum is in Auburn. Spectrum is in Auburn. Yeah, I think yeah. it's... Yeah, I think it's. I think technically, as the crow flies, it's Auburn's the closest. That's I think where I drive drive. time. That's right. Drive time. Sixty miles away. Yeah. 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 These people were very adamant. This committee was. That's a long time. They, they were yeah. focused on That's getting this done, and they wanted somebody to come to the town once every three mm -hmm. months that would let all the residents come and complain mm -hmm. about the cable service. So it was just a beat up the cable company day. Yeah. And the cable company's like, we are not putting that in a contract. We're, I'm like, okay, I'm okay with that. Because that's just me. But there were there were interesting things because they didn't have any guidelines yeah. and they didn't yeah. understand what they could and couldn't ask for. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Their intention was good. They wanted to help the elderly residents who couldn't get their cable equipment back and yeah. they, they didn't understand what was, you know, why the Garden Channel wasn't available anymore and that kind of thing. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yep. Okay. okay. So we've got yeah. that information. I think we give ourselves 30 days, and until then, we do try to kick off the process because, as you said, it's and and I get that you don't have a bunch of time right now. No, but that's all right. I'll yeah. set a, I'll set an alarm to particularly remind me that this needs to start now. Yeah. This um, damn issues that we need to address as soon as I have them. Yes. So. Um, but speaking of damn issues is. It, does Ryan have all the same information regarding the dam? All of that was brought to me by Cindy when she left. Right. I have all of that. Okay. So there's nothing down at the highway department anymore. Ooh, got it. Okay. All right. So we've got that done. So we didn't need any actual vote associated no. with that, correct? Um, <coughs> you can vote to create a cable committee. You, All right. Okay. I want to make okay, a motion. I would to like to make a motion to create a cable committee. Uh, yeah, a five-member. A five-member cable committee for, right. the, for the new contract that we're um, negotiating with. I will second. Um, just a point of discussion before we vote it. Do we need to, to write up an explicit charter for that committee? It wouldn't be a bad idea Probably, to have yeah. guidelines for their purpose okay. and role. So, yeah. so let's. So. so What's do you want to do? We want to bring one into the next meeting. Is that too quick? Because it's uh, that's meeting? too quick. Yeah, I know. I'll reach out tomorrow. But that's too quick. I am actually in school for the next three weeks, starting my Ooh. for my procurement certification. Could, so got it. Uh, Could mandatory recertification cost. Could a starting point be 
essentially bullet points here. Do you want to take a shot at it? Yeah, I can take I, a shot at I it. I tell you what, yeah, Adam, Adam, will, Adam will bring a draft to the yeah. next meeting and we can talk you through that. Yeah. No, I'm saying we might have a charge from the last time we had a committee. Yeah, and, and if you could research yeah, the last time. Let me look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Send, yeah. it, yep, send it to okay. Adam and then he can, he can try to, to cobble one together that makes Put sense. Put my writing brain in. Yeah, it'd be good for you. So. I had to write the, uh, whatchamacallit thing, the year-end Yes, you did a great job on that. Oh, yeah, so. we've all had turns to work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Outstanding. So, okay, great discussion. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right. So, we've got the relocation and poll discussion done. The wage would be next. Yep, wage would be next. So... This has already been to the personnel board. Yep. So yep, I see signatures. How exciting is that? Thank you for that. Okay, so we've got um, a wage authorization for Blake Karen for firefighter for 1715. We've got one for Sarah Lyons as firefighter for 1746. And we have one for Sarah Lyons as an EMS uh, paramedic trainee at $20 an hour. So, uh, can I get a motion to approve those three wage authorizations? I will give a motion to approve the three wage authorizations. We'll send for on call fire, two for on call fire, and one for EMS and training. Yep. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. Thank you. actually put the wrong date, I put last year. Oh, you did? I did. I've done that many times. I haven't done that much this year. Okay. They need that one. Um, next thing is surplus declaration for the um, 2015 cruiser. So, um, and fundamentally, I th if I re remember correctly, we've got this on the agenda. We're going to be um, uh, we're going to be declaring it surplus and authorizing the use of it for um, a trade in value. Oh, nice. Okay. So, um, could I get a uh, uh, motion to declare a surplus to 2015 Ford Explorer with the last four VIN of 1833? I, I just handed all that. Oh, I'm sorry. Could, could you go ahead and give us a motion for okay. the surplus to declare a surplus to that? Okay, to declare asset. surplus for 2015 Ford Explorer for the last. You want the VIN on there? Yeah, the last four of the VIN. The last is 1833 for the police department. I will second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And then can I get a separate motion authorizing the use of that surplus equipment as a trade-in for, uh. um, for the cruiser that was authorized at the last town meeting? When I, what year was that one? It's the same one. It's you, oh, the same just, one? You're just taking the one that you just made surplus. Okay and allowing the chief okay. to use it as a trainer. Okay. And so now this one is for 20 for the 2015. Yeah, so so basically we need a motion okay. to declare the 20 to to authorize the use of okay. the surplus cruiser as a trade-in okay. for our new cruiser. All right. Um, I'd like to make a motion to uh, use the 2015 from surplus to go to our uh, new cruiser. Second. All right. All, right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Great. And then um, let's talk a little bit about the uh, animal control. Um, so um, we did receive a um, formal resignation from um, our prior animal control officer. Um, and uh, she indicated that um, while she felt that the town and the select board had supported her in her role, that 
um, she was no longer able to cope with some of the mm. angry yeah. citizenry. Um, and uh, that the, the best thing for her and her family right now would be yeah. for the, the current assistant to become the full-time ACO and that she has offered to support that ACO until she can find a, a suitable assistant and complete her training. So, so she'd like to switch roles. Yeah. So basically swap roles. And have the assistant go yeah. full-time. Well, full-time, you know what I mean. Full-time. Primary. Does, Primary, yes. Does the assistant want? Yes. Yeah, she's willing. willing. Okay. Yeah, yeah she's willing. Because <laughs> um, if not, that'd be and, yeah. and are we and, <laughs> yeah. and are we facilitating her going and getting her training? Well, or do we, we are have required any? to do that. So mm -hmm. right. yes, yeah. we, would, and we would definitely... Um, support her going okay. Okay. as soon as possible. So what is Casey, Cassie's last Cassandra name? Cassandra Buffum. Mm -hmm. Buffum? Mm -hmm. Is there a record of any of the citizen issues pertaining to this? There it's really not something that I'm, I'm prepared to discuss. No, no, I, I, it's but, but just there, yes or no is fine for me. Is, there is reporting of you know, some of the citizen issues, but the issues are report directly mm -hmm. to her, so we don't have an actual record of okay. yeah. what happened with the different situations. So do we want a motion to accept her resignation? I think I think what we need is a motion um, approving the the swap of the no, roles. No, we need to accept the resignation. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So we need a motion to accept her okay. resignation as the the primary, primary yeah, animal primary. control officer. Um, we need to appoint, appoint Cassandra Candace. as okay. the new animal control officer, and then appoint Sarah as yeah. the assistant animal control officer. Yes. I would like to, uh, a motion to, with regret, to accept the uh, resignation of uh, Sarah Perdue as our canine uh, What was it? What do they call it now? Primary Pro Animal Control Primary Officer. Primary Animal Control Officer. I know, I know personally she has gone above and beyond, and it's really a shame. Yeah, with, with regrets, we can accept her resignation. Okay. So, do you want to second that? I will second that. Okay, okay all and in now, favor? all in favor. Aye. Aye. Right. And now I would like to make a motion to, uh, to have Sarah Cassandra Buffin as the primary animal control officer and to uh, also appoint Sarah Purdue as the assistant animal control officer. Um, can I second that? Yeah, I'll second that. I just was reading even. Okay. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so those are for your signature. Okay. Um, and then we have three other appointments. We have um, actually four election worker appointments. Uh, one of them for Ashley Fontaine, one for Hannah Hill, one for Sabino Rio, and one for Heidi Prue. Prue. Can I get a motion to that effect? Uh, I would give you a motion to to uh, appoint the following election workers for the next scheduled election in of uh, Ashley Fontaine, Hannah Hill, Sabrina Grillo, and Heidi Crook. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So, um, so we did get a notification. And you want to sign those and give them back to me, and then I'll have them to give to Mike. Yeah. And then the next that we have, um, due to, we, so we're members of MIA, and due to the financial strength of their programs and our favorable loss history, near term at least, uh, yeah. <laughs> we are able to offer you a renewal proposal for 2023, which includes a rate decrease of 0.3%. Uh, this is on our property liability and workman's compensation coverages. Um, our overall contributions reflect changes in exposures, building values, vehicles, expenditures, payroll, or experience modification factors. Um, 
In addition, Mia may provide participation and Mia rewards credits depending on our eligibility to assist the membership. We will provide a 2.5% prepay premium discount for fiscal year 2023 so long as the balance is paid by August 1 of 2022. And they've given us a renewal summary to that effect. So in a nutshell, they're going to give us 0.3% off. And so long as we do what we've done historically, which is pay like at the first of the year, then we get 2.5% off. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, do the numbers work out that if we do it that way, that we don't have to budget anything additional other than the book premium? And then the, will the 2.5% cover us from in terms of uh, insurance, potential insurance like um, deductible? I have to look at the math to see what the deductibles are because they're different for the different portions of the policies. Okay. So, because what I like to do is, is you know, budget it appropriately, but, so you know, take that into consideration. What I recommend is we budget it for what the full amount is because something happens and we don't pay it on time, we've got to have that money. Okay. Then we also include in that budget whatever the deductibles are for okay. however many deductibles we would have to pay in the year. Okay. And that way, whatever we don't have, we, we don't need, then yay, that's great. But if we do need it, we're not we're having not. a special town mm -hmm. meeting to try to, and, to try and fund it. Okay, that's fine. So, but do you have, speaking of that, when when do you think we'll be able to see a draft of the, of the budget? I'm hoping I'll be having it in the email on Friday. Okay, great. Um, and so our overall, um, expected premium is going to be $109,842 for, um, it looks like that's for property and casualty, mm -hmm. including liability. Um, we also need to have comp. a window because workers' comp gets, gets calculated at the end of the year, so okay. that we also need a bumper for. Okay. Um, is there anything else that we need to do associate with this. You'll have to sign. So I have to sign. But while we are talking about insurance, at the last meeting you had asked us to look into if Maya mm -hmm. offers a, an additional health oh, insurance, right. and they do, um, mm -hmm. which we're having open enrollment in May, and a representative from Maya will be coming out to give the, the town employees who are interested in town insurance the option to discuss um, the, the third option yeah okay. and it doesn't impact it doesn't impact the availability of the plans no, that they're used to either. having but it does give them a the me. ability well, to yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. so um so can i get a motion to allow me to sign this uh the property liability and workman's compensation okay I proposal? Will, i'll give you a, a motion to sign the property and um compensation from uh, for the 2023 renewal proposal for maya i will second all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, next thing on the agenda is um, to approve the uh, minutes from one eighteen fourteen. I'll make a motion to did everybody read them. Yeah, everybody. Okay. I would like to make a motion to approve the select board minutes from 11 18 14. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Now we've received the Cultural Council meeting notes. Mm -hmm. um, the treasurer's report uh, regarding they've still got 3300 in the Memorial Day fund. Um, mm -hmm. And then uh, fourteen hundred and ten dollars in appropriations and seven hundred and fifty dollars in their grant fund. Um, the uh, uh, from their old business that they had responded to some correspondence from, from the Garden Club probably to do their um, sale of plants on the green. Uh, and then they notified folk uh, the the committee that uh, or the cultural council that the ice rink will be at Louisville in 2023. Um, so, and I, I think we're, we're working with uh, um, the rec committee to see if we can find them some grant funding to help level the field there so that that's yes. effective, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, 
um, they're working on contacting bands and the like for Memorial Day. So, and the PTO is working on getting information and getting some volunteers to do the uh, Flanders Field and Gettysburg Address. So, um, anything else in terms of communications? I think that's it for that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, old business bylaw changes and progress in the town meeting articles. So when I went over the bylaw changes with you, I, I actually found another one that needed to be addressed. Because of the way the personal bylaw is written, we need to add the town accountant and the town treasurer to the list of people who are up. Yeah. positions because they were accidentally omitted. Mm. This is basically a Scrivener's error. Mm. They ah. should have been on the list. They were on the original list, but when the list got transferred onto the warrant, they mm. were not on the oh, list. Also, sure. it only says part-time police, not full-time police. There's no fire chief, and there's no emergency services chief, and there's no police chief mm. in this list. So it just needs to be updated okay. to reflect what it should have said. Originally. From the first time. So I just wanted, because that wasn't actually um, on the list of bylaws that I mentioned, so that's why I wanted to bring it up. Okay, great. Is there, um, what I don't see on here, and I know this was a scree screever's error, but is this the opportunity to also put the cable coordinator on? That needs to be voted and created at town meeting first. So the Warren article says I thought we time. I thought we created one, but then we just never updated the bylaw to include it. Then yes, that would be here. Yes. Yeah, Absolutely. we did. I remember. Yeah, because I. It was last I, year, right? Uh, two years ago. No, that was done a couple years ago. Couple okay. Years ago. It was. It was two years ago. I remember being at a meeting. Yeah. yeah. So so we have years. voted that position. All right. Yeah. Do we know what grade they were? We never established no, a grade as part no, of. No, I don't think we ever did that in the personnel committee. So if we're going to add this to the bylaw, it needs to be put in a grade. Yeah. So we need to know what the grade is. Right. Well, I think. How are grades determined? Is That's a good question. I wasn't here for that process, so I don't know what process for field used. I know that, that the. Uh, looking, I at, looking at this, <laughs> look, I, I looking at this, that, I'm curious. I know that the Collins Center. <laughs> this isn't the Collins Center. Classify different. Mm -hmm different positions in yeah. certain grades based on the type of work that was similar. Yeah. So all of the clerks are a certain grade yeah. because yeah. they're all doing clerical work. Mm -hmm. Part-time officers are part-time officers. Yeah. 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 Um, library assistants, depending on the level of specified and specific knowledge required to function mm -hmm. in the job. Although in a municipality, every single department has a very specific oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. requirements and knowledge for each position. For instance, a planning board clerk would need to know a lot of planning board laws. So the board of health clerk would need to know the board of health laws. Yeah, it's difficult for them to go. Conservation and, um, and uh, ZBA all have very, very, I to it. refer to it, species mm -hmm. specific <laughs> needs. Yeah. So I, it, that's the way it, it should be classified, but I don't know how. Now, this is an old one that was in the book. This is what's in your bylaw. Yeah, yeah. that was old and I from added the, the ones yeah. that were missing, yeah. and, and I highlighted mine. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, I would lean just because of like just this. because of the technological yeah. knowledge requirements mm -hmm. and the technical, mm -hmm. the, the special technical knowledge. I'm thinking of five. Higher than the water operator. No. Well, water operator is a five. Water operator is a four. Oh, there it's a four. four. Yeah, there's okay. only one five. I have oh. A four ah. There's only one five, one three. I would say so probably water. four then. Probably, probably four. a four. Okay. But I, is it the one? But then is the it the one though? The new one libraries. from the Collins? Isn't it higher? Senior libraries. But we didn't adopt that, yeah. so I can't. Yeah. I can't tell you. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it is a special. Libraries are complicated. Relative. They are. They're much more complicated than they used to be. I mean, most libraries. Most libraries in big towns require a master's degree in order oh, to yeah. be, you know. Well, you, can go to school, you can go to school for being. Yeah, yeah. I for think that. Brenda has her master's degree. Oh, yeah. no, she has to have a master's degree to be a be, library director with yeah, a she certain size community. Yeah, community. Yeah. Community. it's complicated. Yeah. 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 The town is not allowed to hire someone who does not have yep. yeah. a master's yeah. degree in library science. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, so yeah, I, I mean, I would say it's probably, I, I don't think it's any lower than a four because there's a lot of. No, you know, definitely not lower than a four. Yeah. Um, so, so let's go ahead. Um, let's go ahead and include that. Okay, yeah. Because, I, 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 like I said, I'm, I'm, yeah. I, and we can go find the warrant article and probably could just ask oh, yeah. Mike. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, but I know we voted it. And that was, you said, a couple years ago? Yeah, yeah. I want to say I it was... That. It was a couple, 20, maybe? Three, four years. A couple, yeah. It was either it was 19 or 20. Yeah. yeah. 19 or 20. All right. Cause I, I know we did it, though. Yeah. I started going to town meetings four years ago, five years ago. Yeah. So okay. it's within the last four years. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and then progress on the town meeting article, which this... So, this <laughs> Thank you for this. So I went, I went awesome. through, um, as you know, I went back to 2018 mm -hmm. and pulled out all the things that weren't done and the list that I originally gave you, the everything is done except the walking path, which is almost completed, that right. we finished um, oh, by nice. the end of spring. Um, the planning board is in charge of the master plan, so that one is shouldn't be on my list of things to do. So I can't I can't do anything with that. That's a planning board responsibility under the law. Um, and I don't even know that, that it's just an update, but well, I don't know that they were even aware of that. So well, and at one point we, we were supposed to have a separate committee that was gonna do that work, and I think that that separate committee kind of devolved. So mm -hmm. we, we may need to look at how we're gonna execute that. We just need to look at it and see what it means, you know. Needs to go up. Um, yeah. Be done. Uh, so and we, and we may even be able to try to enlist support from like CMRPC and and find out what it would take to just get it. I know. Mm. This is what it would take. CMRPC yeah. would do it all. All we got to do is get yes. it mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, but I'm thinking that we, we may just need to see if. Well, we have a budget for it. We can reach out to them and say, what can you do for this? Right. So. Get hurt. Yeah, we could ask them what we can get for like it. To do that. They're the ones that are supposed to they need to initiate it. Um, okay. We don't have the authority. You don't have the authority. I don't have the authority. Could we, could we send a, Correspondent. a, a correspondence? Yeah, yep. Could we send a correspondence, correspondence to, to request board. information or an update or from something? Planning or from, CMR? from planning board. I can do that. Yeah. There we go. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Understood. And do you remember um, Clarence dealt with, um, was it Pierce was her last name? Speaking Jan of Pierce. Oh, Janice. Um, P Janice on PVP. Um, yeah, Janice. Uh, Pioneer Valley. And mm -hmm. I think that she actually came in with a good price. I remember yeah. he did an, a guesstimate yes. a while ago. So that's another mm -hmm. one to reach out to also. Yep. We're not required to use the CMRPC. We can use a different. So, because I they're I, regionalized, I, I, I wasn't... We've we've gone either side of that line for different things depending okay, on what we've been doing. Interesting. Okay. And I, I don't know the how or why or the mechanics of when we've gone with one versus the other. Like we found our accountant service through Pioneer Valley. That's right, because you got them through a bit. Yeah, didn't you? we did. Yeah, I we, did. We, we actually that. managed to pile in. We've also gotten burned by going through Pioneer Valley because at one point we were getting our electric through a Pioneer Valley agreement, and we actually wound up paying more, not less. So we wound up getting yeah, out of that agreement. Yeah. yeah, so we wound up getting <laughs> out of that agreement and just dealing with you know the the whole stuff that we have with the the solar farm. How far are we from the? end of the technical like contracted life on our solar farm this i do not know because i i think if, if i recall the documentation the one that's on the on the uh the on the old uh municipal landfill. dock the landfill oh, that one. um i can't remember if it's a 20 year or a 30 year facility mm. and if it's a 20 year i think we're 10 years into it yeah, we are. Really? That happened the first yeah. year. I, that happened the first year. I remember I got in. Yeah, so we're halfway into yeah. the, to the yeah, that was twenty. Life of that. I came through and in twenty thirteen. We're going to need to make a determination fundamentally yeah. whether to keep it in service or not, yeah. to decommission it, or because okay. 
because the, 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 the formal life of them is, is like 20 or 30 years, but the, the true functional life may be mm. more or less depending on how well it's, it's stood up. And, mm. and you know, without a lot of moving parts, depending on how the materials are holding up, it may you hold up pretty well or may yeah, not. I'm all excited because I've got one thing left on my list. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's the last thing on this list. That means we need to start a new list. Fair enough. Fair so, enough. So, so it's kind of like my, my, my private sector job, okay? One of the running jokes on my team is that we're working on getting a whole bunch of our work automated. Okay, but I keep pointing out to people every time we find something to automate all the stuff we're not currently doing in our space. So, so everybody on my team whose primary concern is job security loves their job because they're like, we are never going to run out of work. <laughs> That's awesome. And they support the initiatives to automate stuff because they're never going to run out of work. Nice. So. Um, where you know you've got one list done, let's celebrate one list getting done as we write the second list. <laughs> All right. So the only other thing left on the list is the children. Yep. And I had a contractor come in um, who looked at the space and is giving us a quote. I should have it probably oh, nice. next week. Right. And then um, because be I've reached out to I, I reached out to three different elevator companies via the email system. And got no reply from any of them. Um, we, we've done our due diligence in trying to get somebody in uh, to quote the, the project, and it was within the threshold of just needing to seek quotes. It was mm -hmm. not outside of that. And those count as no bids. Be. Yeah. So. And those count as no bids fundamentally. Correct. Yep. Correct. So, although I do think this one is going to come in over, um, there's a caveat that because it was oh. it came in under when we initially started, mm -hmm. and we acted in good faith on the quote that we got. I mean, that, we. I mean, Al we went and physically tried to door knock them. Went to their <laughs> location yeah. and knocked on their door and spoke with them, and they still didn't still come out. They're like, "Oh my goodness, we'll be out right away." <laughs> And then he left, and, he, and they never showed up. So yeah. it's um, also been four years, too, and prices prices have, have changed sure. considerably. Yeah. So um, that that's so in the works, and there may be an alternative if we can't get the chairlift. We need to double check, but if we can if we can project what's occurring upstairs to a handicap accessible location, and there's an ability for people to participate, then we don't need the chairlift, and we can we can then put in a technological solution yeah. to oh yeah, it's yeah just it's just CCTV. Yeah. Right? Well, we did that we, it would need to be able to work both ways because mm -hmm. we go well, back yeah, to the meeting up there. The people that are down here need to have the ability to participate. Yeah. There needs to be yeah. somebody down here You'd have that to have can those. facilitate yeah. for yeah. them. With we, the we did that, Adam, years ago when we used the upstairs. We would have we would have it downstairs here yeah. too. Yeah. You so just set up a yeah. projector. So that's just get a good projector and a good mic and, yeah. and yeah. a good no, good speaker uh, system. Thousand bucks yeah. you get your projector and a screen. That's good. So yeah. I mean, I know thousand dollars is a thousand dollars, but yeah. So yeah. the money that good was mics. already voted. Yeah. Uh, the town meeting, we may need to vote to allocate to an ADA compliance budget as mm -hmm. opposed to a chairman yeah. budget, yes. yeah. so that we don't That's lose that difference. money. We can we can reallocate it and still achieve the same goal that the chairman yeah. was for. Yeah. If the chairman doesn't work out, so we'll see. Yeah, and and actually that may be a good idea regardless. I I think it is a good mm -hmm. idea um, because it'll make so much more of this building functional. I mean, right. Yeah. Maybe some of the overage. Uh, I've never that we'll have left, well, we can apply mm. somewhere else for yep. um, for other yeah it, other benefit other thing other things that benefit the accessibility of town hall and the overall ADA plan. Mm -hmm. Yes. So exactly. Like well, changing the lights. Yeah. We had yeah. somebody come in and look at it. We're getting a quote on on upgrading the lights. Oh, great! Going to LED. Mm -hmm. And yeah. maybe something without so much flicker, because I actually get headaches. Yes. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's I, exactly I, why the fluorescents are not popular. Um, yeah. And, yeah, I get my greens right insulating, yeah. insulating the building to help reduce fuel loss. Consumption. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's well worth the cost to insulate. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Yeah, I was surprised there was no insulation and nobody had thought to put insulation. Or maybe they did, they just didn't. Well, it's expensive, yeah. Through, so. okay. Yes, see all of the above. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay, great. This is awesome. Um, Do, for just to add on to the walking path, um, will some announcement possibly be made? To kind of so tell we everybody. Talking, we talked about that at the about department head meeting. Yeah. yeah. At, the, at, the, at, the, at the department head yeah. meeting, it that came up nice. that yes, maybe we should do a ribbon cutting just to celebrate the fact that. that like it's these things are everything's done. done over there. <laughs> yeah. So one of the grants that we're looking at is to level the soccer field. It's, yep. it's another park grant that we have for the walking path. Yeah. Um, and level the soccer field. And once the soccer field is level, we'll have a place for the skating rink. Like, yep. yep. It, and that so, would help with drainage because yes. I don't know if you've been after over there after rain. Uh, it, no. it, it can get quite, it's uh, pretty quite bad. squishy. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that'd be great. Yeah. So I, I don't know if you want to do two ribbon cuttings. Why not? That's two what big pairs of two? scissors. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> two big ribbons, two big pairs of scissors. So, um, so I think that's great. So then the last thing is correspondence. We've got the oh. Charter Communications <laughs> Annual <laughs> Notification. We were both we were a little ahead of the curve. I was trying to pack up, and yeah. we're not quite done yet. <laughs> so um, They've sent us their annual notice, including billing practices, equipment notices, and a sample subscriber bill and a sample work order. Um, and then they, we've got some upcoming programming changes. So um, fundamentally, um, we are ceasing the distribution of CR1 Russia effective March 3rd, 2022. Um, and they've dropped... Um, Russian control and program networks like NTV, America, RTR Planet, Rossiya 24, and CTC. Um, so all of those were separate subscriptions and um, people who lose it are going to get a discount. Um, and uh, then there are some packages with partial content that are gonna get lost. Russia View Premium, Russian Passport, Russian Pass Plus, and Russian Pass Max and then Russian, um, and those are going to um, have discounts because they're losing any of the content that actually comes from Russia. So, I mean, these the, the sanctions are really serious. I mean, this is starting to touch, like, huge part swaths of the economy mm -hmm. in terms of enforcing the sanctions against Russia. Um, and uh, this, then the last one is a notice that... Um, Story TV satellite feed will be added to SPP extended basic and standard tier HD channels on channels 156 and 489. The new launch date um, is going to be May 15 instead of March 28. So they're going to be a little slow getting some of the new content that's coming. Uh, that is all we have for this evening. Can I get a motion to yep. adjourn as of uh, 739. 7 yep. Motion to, uh, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn at 730, uh, yeah, 739. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.